messages for you today what do you need to know i'm going to start by pulling some charms to give you extra connection to the reading if the charms don't mean anything but the reading resonates bookmark the reading so you can come back and at that point the charms will mean a lot or maybe something will happen over the next couple of weeks that reminds you of one of these charms what messages are here what do you need to know okay let's have a look so we have peace sign i nearly said pisces no it's a peace sign we have an n then we have another n these can be initials place names words that are important to you n's can sometimes be no 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 ask another question with a q um we have your angel guides around you we have a watch or a Fitbit or a smartwatch. Then we have a really very pretty key. The keys are going to be in your hands soon. We have Virgo. Something funny happened to me. I will say it. I'm going to say it. Virgo. <laughs> you know, I, if you've never seen me before, this will not make any sense to you whatsoever. But if you have seen me before, I do bottle readings so who you're going to marry your next relationship and I pull charms out and these tiny tiny little charms are quite hard to see and um, I always try to have my reading glasses on and the way that my camera is anyway the way that my camera is it's not always great to see and sometimes you know you mess words up and I pulled one of the charms and it's you know the Scorpio and Virgo look the same and sometimes like with spirit spirit likes to get a bit spicy so they'll throw a word in so I'd got them muddled up but like my thought process on that is that's a divine thing like if I'm holding Scorpio up and Virgo comes out of my mouth is spirit wanting something or it's my lack of reading glasses or it's my um just misspeaking because I'm tired or whatever oh my goodness the hoo-ha that <laughs> corrupted on my TikTok video it's like you're not a very credible reader because you don't even know the difference between those two zodiac signs I'm like my goodness some people are just so quick to jump on the tiniest little thing I had to share that if you make a mistake in life it's fine it's not the end of the world Aries and if everyone jumps on you that's fine as well. You're not dead. We have Aquarius. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to misspeak. And it's okay to, if spirit inserts a different kind of word, there's a message there. I believe the readings that I channel, there's messages there for people. So there's that. There's that. That did. I was just like, oh, really? Really? These 20 people? right okay but it boosted my video it reached uh 200,000 people so you know maybe people should get up the bum a little bit more uh anyway messages for you today what you need to know i'm a waffler i waffle hopefully there's a message within all that waffling for you i'm gonna split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels i know tarot readers and spiritual people we're meant to be dead serious but there is fun in life as well we can laugh about things looking after your well-being is important seeing the fun funny side of stuff there's another message coming in there's a very good friend of mine who I've worked with she's an artist I'm an artist and we just laugh like whenever we've worked together and set up exhibitions together and stuff little things will go wrong and we just laugh about and find a solution I mean you've got a choice do you sit and cry and spiral and start dooming about everything or do you go oh we should have seen that coming or or didn't see that coming or what are we going to do about that and it's like a little puzzle and a challenge and a stuff look after you life is serious but on the whole most things are not that serious prosperity coming your way having a better outlook money coming in at last and your psychic abilities so maybe there's a message if you're a light worker 
and you're putting collective things out on the internet don't take everything everyone says seriously you know it's okay and there's a value in what comes out of your mouth and little things that happen that feel like a mistake aren't always a mistake sometimes it's somebody's spirit guide somewhere causing a little bit of mayhem so that they know that they're included in that reading and maybe all this has come out in this reading because there's a scorpio that needs to see it but it didn't come out of my jar and uh we know Scorpios like to be seen when they want to be seen. If you're going in, if you're working as a light worker, keep doing what you do. Be the light and positive thing in the world because we all need it. Even light workers, we need it. We need those positive lights come together. Anyway, welcome to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England and I waffle on something terrible. This is a timeless reading, so it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. And if you feel it's for you, if it resonates, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We have the Ace of Swords. My first card of my Celtic cross is all about you, where you're at at the moment, taking the power, taking the control, your path forward, your mental focus, focusing on what is important for you, recognising what you need to learn and recognising how to light up the path in front of you. The Queen of Swords energy, cut off the nonsense, be the leader. The power is literally in your hands, like the sword there, whether you're male or female. You are a guiding light, got that Aquarius on the table. You are the one that wants everyone to be okay, but it's important for you to be okay as well. You don't have to fight every single battle. You can do it with grace and you have the intelligence to do it. You'll always find a solution. The people who are on your side, you will ride or die for them. The people who are not, you can't be bothered with them. You cut them off. You know, so what's around you at the moment? The Knave of Swords, feeling let down, a change of direction. Sometimes the Knave of Swords for me is information that comes to light that brings a disappointment or makes us feel let down. Or it's looking in our diary and thinking, oh, I've got that thing I need to do and I really don't want to do it now, but I've got to change it. And But it feels like there's a bit of a new path here for you, a new income stream for you. I don't know what that is. You will know what that is. So I put that out there. And sometimes when I put things out, I get an instant answer of, I don't know what it is. So you need to tell me what my life purpose is. No, you know what? You, if you don't know what your life purpose is, is yet, you need to connect with your source energy because you will get that to da moment. You will go, oh, yeah, no, that's that thing that I'm good at and that I like doing and I forgot about. You listen to you. You have all of the answers within you. Don't let anyone doubt yourself. If you're building up something in a public domain, you are going to have people that criticise you. You are going to have people that jump on you. You are going to have people that get jealous of you and want to shut you down. Don't let it hold you back. And there will be times where whatever you're doing in life at the moment, the information comes to light, comes to the surface, and it makes you feel disappointed. But then it's what you do with that energy. Do you then put that energy into a boost of being a queen of swords and figuring out a solution and having a little laugh about it? You can cry about it, but you can also have a little laugh about it. There's most things in life, apart from the absolute trauma of things that happen, most things we can look back and think, oh my goodness, what, what was I thinking? Or what was that about? Oh, what a nightmare, you know? And you've got to have that little bit of laugh. We've got the Two of Cups is the path that you're on. Now, the Two of Cups, this feels more of a career type, life purpose type reading. And within business, the Two of Cups is being aligned with people that are going in the same direction. Um, I always see the Two of Cups as a train track and people walking in the same direction, supporting one another. Um... You're going to have people who are trying to dismantle the train tracks. But you can go off-road, you can go in a different direction. But you'll always have people walking in the same direction as you. You will always be supported by the right people. 
You will always have love and respect from the right people. You can always do business and negotiate with the right people. The wrong people are the ones that want something for nothing or they want to exploit you. It's up to you to cut off from that. It's up to you to recognise it, allow it to come to light and then ask yourself, what am I going to do about it then? Do I need to take legal action? Is it worth my time and effort? Do I just need to go in a different direction? Do I need to go to bed for an hour and cry my heart out and then pull myself back together again? But you are surrounded by love and you will always be walking in the same kind of direction with the same kind of people. And everyone is struggling with something. Even the people that look so they're successful and they look as though they're doing great. But behind the screen there, they're struggling. There's no excuse for being an absolute troll, though. There's no excuse for being nasty for the sake of being nasty. Like, I do genuinely believe, like, 1% of people go online just to be nasty. It's like, what nasty things can I say today? And I put love out, as you do already. The King of Wands is in your past position. The King of Wands goes through hardship and they're self-made. And this is your past this is where you've come from. There was a point in your past, and I don't think it was that too far away, where someone said to you, you can't do that. And you're like, I'm going to show you that I can. Actually, you know, it's that fire. It's that um, motivation that we have. It's that feeling of, I'll prove to you that I'm all right, actually. I'll prove to you I'm good at what I do. And I'm going to make a success of it. And it's that spark, and it's that idea, and it's that running with it. Um... There may also be an ex in your past or a past parent. I say past parent. I don't know what that means, but that will make sense to you. It makes no sense to me, but it will make sense to you. Who made you doubt yourself? It feels like there's somebody in your past who were very successful or seemed it, and they made you doubt yourself. Prove them wrong. This is your time. Opportunities to come. The sun. Yeah, prosperity abundance joy happiness being surrounded by light and being surrounded by light-hearted people and people that see the good in the world and to see the people that put the good out into the world as well and it just feels really magical and it just feels like you're nearly there you're already there you're on that path it feels like something has recently disappointed you it's okay feel that disappointment Work out what you're doing with it and carry on. Don't let it ruin everything. Don't let one moment in time ruin the rest of your life. It's just a blip. Whatever this thing is, it's just a blip. And there's going to be a point where you look back and think, oh, I should have seen that coming or I knew that was coming. You know when you get those moments of like, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. It feels something like that. And it's okay. It's not that deep. It feels like it, but it's just a surface wound. It will repair itself in a year. You won't even know it was there. So, the Knight of Wands. The secret underlying question, am I moving in the right direction? Am I going to get to relocate? Am I going, am I managing to change things? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Timing on this. Look at all these swords. Timing on this is the Knight of Swords. It's that moment. It's that ta-da, I know what I'm doing and putting your energy into it. It's the path being opened, sometimes by force, but it's that hyper-focus. Now's the time for you to hyper-focus on the thing that you're doing and don't let anyone deal, derail you. If there's people around you who are trying to dismantle the train track that you're on, build your own train track in a different direction, make it invisible so that they can't see it. Let them carry on doing what they're doing because they think they're doing something. They're not. They're not affecting you. They are a little bit, but they're not stopping you. They're not holding you back because you're too clever for that. So, possible attainment, your strength coming back in again. Learning how to lead the negative people forward or quieting that negative voice. You know, you've got to be brave to put things out. If this is your reading... To put things out on a public platform, whatever whatever it is that you're doing, you have to be brave. Even if you're in education, 
putting an essay together and giving it to your tutor to read it, you have to be brave. It's like quieting your negative voice that's in you. Because sometimes other people's negative voice can feed our own negative voice. And then before you know it, we're not doing anything because we're scared. Your strength is your willpower, your recovery and your your resilience. And it's yours, it's not anybody else's. And it's something that no one can take away from you. Possible uh, outcome, the star, you're being guided in the right direction. And it's Aquarius again. And it's this feeling of, yeah, you've got a lot to give this world. Is it, there's a reason that you were born. There's a reason that you're here. Whatever your life purpose is, don't let anyone hold you back. Don't let anyone hold you back. And get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Because a lot of the times we don't succeed. It's because we're talking ourselves out of it. Talk yourself into it. If this is genuinely your reading, you might want to bookmark it. And also timestamp where my waffling stops and the reading starts. So that you can come back and just get that little bit of boost. Because it feels like you need a bit of a boost. You need a bit of a kick. Come on, get moving. It's been a little bit of a setback, whatever has happened. It's just a setback. It's just a redirect, you know, when the sat nav's recalculating, recalculate and keep going. Going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so it ain't to take you anyway. And thank you so much for being here with me today.